Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second episode of Final Round. I'm Squeak and this is my colleague Alan Jibby Gibson. Tonight we will discuss the matches for WrestleMania 25. A landmark in the world of wrestling as little to no promotion can match the hype to this pay-per-view. We will first talk about the Intercontinental title match, JBL defends the belt against Rey Mysterio. I'm not too sure how this will end up, but with rumors of JBL retiring again, I could see JBL possibly winning in his home state. It would not surprise me. Though I'm disappointed that CM Punk is no longer Intercontinental Champion. Boy how I masturbated to that reign. You fucking bullsack. Moving on we have the Unified Tag Team title match. I see them as in Morrison winning the belts and I have enjoyed watching this feud. But I can't see the WWE let Carlito and Prima be their undisputed tag team champions. My big ginger head predicts a win for Miz and Morrison. They are the hottest tag team going right now and a loss would surprise me. Next up is the Money in the Bank match. The competitors are CM Punk, Kane, Mark Henry, MVP, Shelton Benjamin Kofi Kingston, Christian, Finley. I really feel that this is the worst lineup for Money in the Bank since its creation back at WrestleMania 20. I wish Santino Morello was in this. I really hope this doesn't suck as bad as watching any DNA pay-per-view with Vince Russell booking. I can only see Kane realistically getting the win here. Unlike yourself, I won't be a ginger biased prick and I see a few maybe taking this one. All ladder matches are entertaining, and I think this match will add more excitement for the pay-per-view. Fuck you, you baldy English teabag and prat. The next match is the Extreme Rules match between Jeff and Matt Hardy. This should be a good match with a few high risk spots and weapons I have always been a fan of the Hardys and I think this could have potential to be match of the night. While I'm game for this match, I can't help but feel this would be much better if Jeff was still WWE Champion. I feel like Jeff got screwed just like we all did when we watched Alien vs Predator 2. The only logical thing here is a win for Jeff. Hopefully he'll be back in world title contention really soon, though I would like Matt join in the world title mix sooner rather than later. We would talk about 25 Diva Rumble, but I could not care less. So we will move on to the match between Chris Jericho and the Legends. With Ric Flair in their corner, I can see the Legends take this one. Plus it will bring back the memories for the old fans with Snuka, Steamboat and Piper returning. I cannot wait to see Ricky Steamboat back in action. Some of his matches are some of the greatest matches I have ever seen. I really think this will be a fun match to watch. And I also think I found who you were gay for back when you had hair. Fuck you, you fucking rectal bleeding, dog shagging, donkey raping ginger prick. I'm not a ginger prick. Fuck this I need a cup of tea before the rest of the predictions. Time for our break. We'll be back with the rest of the predictions. Back soon.